Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we have a virtual air tour of San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio is a town that's near and dear to my heart as it's the home of my parents and I've been there many times on vacation. When you land at San Antonio International Airport and go to the baggage claim, you'll see a large sign that says Military City USA. And while San Antonio may not have the most military personnel or the most military installations, the military is heavily ingrained in the fabric of the city. San Antonio Tower JMB Aviation November Juliet 5525 The runway 31 left ready for takeoff straight out departure. JMB Aviation November Juliet 5525 Cleared for takeoff runway 31 left departing straight out approved. Cleared for takeoff runway tree one left JMB Aviation 525. We'll be going all around the town looking at different points of interest, military installations, and tourist attractions. And I hope to point out some uh, interesting sights along the way. Let's go ahead and get going here. And I'm gonna uh, be quiet most of the flight, but I will try to uh, speak up and point out things that I think are uh, of interest. Unfortunately, the San Antonio International Airport is a default airport. No love been given by any third-party developers, and it's not a handcrafted airport. So what you see here is the pretty generic standard fare for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So the terminal building, while it has a similar shape to the real-world terminal building, doesn't really uh, look very much like the real building at all. But uh, I guess it's better than what we would have had in as the default airport for previous flight simulators. So we're taking off uh, to the northwest here, and off to our left is Highway 281. We'll be swinging around back to the south, uh, taking a look at uh, the area adjacent to the airport, and then headed out to the west. For those of you who have visited the channel before, you'll note that this is the first video that I'm posting that I actually do any narration or speaking on. Uh, please leave a note in the comments if you prefer this style of video with uh, spoken narration, or if you just prefer silence, let me know that as well. Off to our left here, we have the interchange between Highway 281 and Interstate 410, which is the main beltway around the city of San Antonio. I currently live in the state of Washington, and every time I go to San Antonio, I'm always extremely impressed with the freeway system in this city and in the state of Texas in general. As you look at the freeways in Texas, there are some uh, characteristics that I haven't seen elsewhere in the nation. Uh, one of the things that's really nice about the highways there is almost all of the interstate freeways have frontage roads or access roads 
which run parallel to the freeway. And these uh, roads make it very easy to merge onto the freeway and to exit the freeway at highway speed. So it really helps to alleviate a lot of the traffic on the main freeway. Another feature that's really common in San Antonio and uh, the Texas cities is at most of the major interchanges, there's what's called a turnaround lane where you can easily change directions. So if you're westbound on an access road and you know you see something that you need to get to on the eastbound side of the freeway, you just go to the next intersection and you'll find an easy place to where you can swing back around and head in the opposite direction. It's pretty cool. I wish they had that where I live. Here we have the intersection between Interstate 10 and Interstate 410. This is one of the areas in San Antonio that is most likely to get congested as it's in a rapidly growing area of the city and it's two of the main interstates in the city. We're now headed to the northwest along Interstate 10. Off to the right here is uh, the world headquarters for USAA, a large insurance company in the United States. USAA started a long time ago as an insurance company only for officers in the military, but now they accept uh, military members or former military members and family members of all ranks. I'm told this building is one of the largest buildings in the world. Next up, we have AT&T Center, the basketball stadium where the San Antonio Spurs play their home games. And up ahead is downtown San Antonio. San Antonio has a relatively modest skyline for a city this size. San Antonio is the seventh largest city in the United States by population. The large tower there is the 750 foot tall Tower of the Americas. Off to the right of that, you'll see the Alamo Dome. And then the heart of downtown is uh, up ahead. This large building beneath us is the San Antonio Convention Center. The blue roofed building that you see beneath us is the River Center Mall. It's kind of neat. Uh, it's a shopping mall that has the San Antonio River flowing through the mall. And the area of trees just beyond that is the Alamo. One interesting note here is you can see there are two shadows uh, being cast by the Tower of the Americas. One of them is the shadow being cast by Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then the other one is the shadow that's baked into the uh, photogrammetry scenery from when the photogrammetry was taken. If you want a fun challenge, try lining up the shadow in the game with the shadow from the photogrammetry scenery, and you can tell what day the imagery was actually taken.
Next up, we have Brackenridge Park and the San Antonio Zoo. Coming up ahead on the left is the San Antonio Zoo. So we're going to go ahead and uh, set her down back at San Antonio International Airport and we'll take her to the skies at night. And then we'll take a look at uh, what downtown looks like at uh, various lighting conditions, including uh, pre-dawn, dawn, and early morning. Positive rate, gear up. And we'll fly runway heading here for a bit and then we'll swing around back to the south and head towards downtown. The approach lights that you can see off the left wing out there in the distance is the Kelly Field Annex to Joint Base San Antonio. And off to the left here, we have downtown San Antonio at night. In my opinion, the nighttime lighting of skyscrapers is one of the weak areas of the sim uh, currently. I think the lights are much too uniform in the buildings. and. Uh, I wish that uh, they would kind of randomize them a bit more. It looks fairly unrealistic to me currently. And now we have downtown in pre-dawn lighting conditions.
Here we have a view of downtown at sunrise. Next up, we have SeaWorld San Antonio. Next up, we have the University of Texas at San Antonio, UTSA. The freeway next to the campus here is Loop 1604 Anderson Loop, and that's the outermost loop around San Antonio. Next up, just across the freeway from UTSA, is La Cantera Shopping Center. And immediately adjacent to La Cantera is Six Flags Fiesta Texas. This theme park was built in an old rock quarry. If you look at the edges of the park, you'll see the steep cliffs that used to be the edge of the rock quarry.
And what Texas theme park would be complete without a Texas-shaped wave pool? And moving on to the military leg of our San Antonio tour, we take a look at our first military installation, and this is Fort Sam Houston. Next up, we have Joint Base San Antonio Kelly Field Annex. This installation was formerly known as Kelly Air Force Base. Next up, we have Lackland Air Force Base. Any enlisted person in the United States Air Force is familiar with this installation, as this is the only basic military training school in the Air Force. Off to our left here, we have some of the old dormitories which have been replaced by the uh, newer facilities you see off there in the distance. And our last stop here at Lackland Air Force Base is the Wilford Hall Medical Center.
Our final stop on our San Antonio tour is a neighborhood called Northwest Crossing. This is where my mom and dad live. What tour of San Antonio would be complete without the Alamo? I hope everyone has enjoyed this uh, tour of San Antonio. I had a lot of fun uh, making this video, and I'll see you on the next one.